How big should your training dataset be? In this video, we'll discuss the best dataset size to use with Copycat. In an earlier video, we discussed how you would select input images if you were training Copycat to apply an effect across a specific shot. We recommended selecting images that capture variations in motion, lighting, and camera focus. When training Copycat on a single shot in that way, we found that a range from 1 to 30 images will often suffice for the model to learn how to copy your effect across all the frames. But Copycat is also versatile enough to handle generalized training scenarios. You can use Copycat to train a generalized model that works on a wide variety of images, not just those in a single shot. The Dibbler, Upscale, and Human Matting networks that we provide as initial weights in Copycat all use the Copycat model under the hood and have been trained on large datasets so that they will work on any image. When training Copycat to tackle generalized tasks, you will need a lot more images in your dataset. The size of the dataset will dictate how generalized the model will be, so the dataset size could vary anywhere from 1,000 to 1 million or more images. As an example, our human matting model was trained on about 10,000 images. We found that, in general, a dataset of around 10 or 20,000 images in size tends to be sufficient to train Copycat for generalized tasks. In summary, for single-shot training, using 1 to 30 images as training inputs is a good range for Copycat. And for generalized training, you will need a bigger dataset with tens of thousands of images.